YouTube, I hope you've all been well and having a great week. Got some major changes around the XP gains on a lot of quests from start and type of quest um, progression. These are major changes. So this will fast track your progression through the game now. The effect is immediate. So if you have handed in these quests, unfortunately you have missed out on the extra XP. So no place for renegades. This is one of the starting quests, skill five raiders on reserve. Quest change from 8,500 XP to 15,300. You know, it's a very, very good boost up in XP. That's double the amount. Most of them are doubled or, you know, significant increase. Best try part two, best job in the world. That's to kill um, players and scavs now with an AR-15 platform. So that's your ADAR or your M4A1. You cannot use the TX-15, AR-15 platform. So this has now changed. It used to be scavs. It was 30 scavs over 100 meters. Now it is any enemy. So you can kill bosses, you can kill players, you can kill scavs, whoever. Test drive part two, that's been increased to 2800. Decontamination service. Bro, right. killing all those scads on interchange with the breather. 7400 XP you only got from it. Now it's been boosted to 30,000. That's a massive increase. Friends from the West part one, up to 10,000. Not too much of a big difference. Long road, you get a double buff pretty much. Humanitarian supplies ain't that significant. That's still 11,500. Now the biggest ones, right? The biggest ones are these textile. Textile part one and part two, you got zero XP from completing these quest lines before. Now you get 3,200 and 3,400. That's 66 K XP, 67 rounding up. That's huge. I mean, if you're at that mid forties range at the moment, you're doing textiles. That's a big increase just for doing two tasks. Really simple to do as well. And in Cordura, Ripstock, all that type of stuff. It's, you know, it's one of the easiest quests to do. It's just crafting quests. That's a really nice buff. Um, Hunts and Path, a lot of these ones are bosses. They've been increased to 1500, anywhere between 10k, 18k um, XP, which is quite nice. It's good to get a little bit of a boost. Stray Dogs, killing the goons. Now, this one is one of the biggest increases as well. You got 12,000 XP just from killing them before. Now you get 30k. That's, that's a quest worthwhile doing. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, tracksuit is still not included in this update as well. Tracksuit, you just get the drip and you still have to pay big money for it. It's pretty crazy. Now, increase the number of sniper scavs on streets of Tarkov. That's really good. When I tried to get my 10, it took me quite a while because scavs weren't actually um, spawning up sniper scavs. Now, this is a big change. And this is the change that I've talked about in my previous video that wasn't implemented, that they did say that they did increase the timing on. Increase the minimum time from the start of the raid for player scavs to spawn on Lighthouse finally do because i spawned in on a scav when they did that change and i spawned in at 35 minutes like bro you're pretty much there at the start of the raid that's no good now that there's a nerf to players on um scavs across all maps and especially lighthouse you're not going to have that you know and you're not going to have that out position rush of a scav beating you to loot or beating you on kills when you haven't even gotten to the area as pmc like that was that was the stupidest thing for lighthouse i'm happy that those changes have occurred now, if you're up to these quests, get them done. You're going to get a lot more XP. If you already have handed it in, unfortunately, you're in the same boat as me. You're going to miss out on that juice. Unfortunate, but is what it is, you know. Happy hunting.